In this question, we're going to look at how to add together vectors using something called the trig method, as opposed to the component method where we break their vectors down into horizontal and vertical components. The question is, a water bomber airplane has to reach a forest fire that's directly north. The airplane has an airspeed of 250 kilometers an hour in still air, and there's a strong wind of 75 kilometers an hour blowing in from the northwest. In what direction must the plane point to reach the fire? and what will the plane speed be with respect to the ground after this. Now, in order for the plane to end up pointed directly north, he must point himself into the wind slightly in the direction shown by the blue vector. So when these two vectors add together, the wind and the velocity of the plane in still air, we end up getting a vector that's straight up and down, which we'll call VG, or velocity with respect to the ground. That's the actual overall velocity the plane will have when the wind is combined with his still air velocity at that angle of the blue vector shown. When we add the vectors together, as usual, we add them tip to tail. So we've got our 250 kilometer an hour plane added to the 75 kilometer an hour wind to create our red velocity with respect to the ground as shown. And we want to solve that triangle, just like you would in a math class. So we zoom in and let's have a look at what some of the angles are that are involved in this question. First of all, the water bomber must reach the forest fire that is directly to the north. Now the wind is from the northwest or towards the southeast, which automatically implies a 45 degree angle. But we need to know what the angles are inside the triangle that we've drawn by our vectors. So I use something called the Z rule, and I draw a couple of horizontal lines, and we can quickly see, looking at the picture, that we get a 45 degree angle as shown on our vector diagram inside the triangle. Since the velocity with respect to the ground is straight up, that would make a 90 degree angle with that horizontal line that I've already sketched on the page. So 45 and 90 make an inside interior angle of 135 degrees inside that triangle itself. Now if you'll recall, the original question asked us what angle to point the plane at so he ends up going straight. And to do this, we can simply use the sine law as shown on our virtual whiteboard. You can see how we arrange it. Sine x over its opposite side is sine 135 over its opposite side. And you simply solve for theta to get 12.2 degrees. The next step is figuring out the last of the angles inside the triangle, knowing that they add up to 180 degrees, and you can see that we get 32.8 degrees for that angle. Finally, we can switch to the cosine law to determine the magnitude of the velocity with respect to the ground, since we know an angle in between two sides. And you can see when we work it out, we get 191.3 kilometers an hour for our overall velocity with respect to the ground as we see from below. So zooming back out, let's arrange our final answer so we can place it into words. In what direction must the plane point to reach the fire? Well, we found that to be 12.2 degrees west of the north line. And what was the plane's speed with respect to the ground? 191.3 kilometers an hour due north.